December 12, 2016. Okay, this dog, how old is Jenny? Six. The male one? Female. Female. Yeah. Sterilize, huh? Sterilize, Nothing, nothing. We are here, 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 we are here. Okay, so what, what happened actually this morning? Diarrhea. This morning. Diarrhea. Yeah. Then we, then we touched her, she was like, no, like in pain, you know. This morning? Yeah. Yesterday? No, she was okay yesterday. So what did she eat yesterday? Do you um, know? She ate uh, rice with egg. Uh. This is her favorite biscuit. Okay, is, uh, she actually eat cream crackers, her favorite. Uh, cream crackers, huh? So yeah. this one is an old dog, right? Six yeah. years old. Yeah. So, she, did she drink milk? No, she doesn't drink milk. She drinks milk. Oh, see, see, see. Huh? Doesn't drink milk, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just hold her. Just look at her. Okay, okay. Let me yeah, just yeah, check yeah. the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold her. What colour is the diary? Uh, what colour is it? Yellow. 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 Yellowish. Yeah. Yellowish. Yeah. Any yeah. blood? No yeah. blood, no blood. Just yellow, huh? Yeah. Any vomiting? No. No vomiting. No vomiting. Any coffee? No. How many times the, the passing? Um, two or three times. Yeah. Two times. Three times. Yeah. Two or three times. Uh? Yeah. What, what the kind of food you're feeding? Uh, uh, dog, dog food. food. Right, dog food. No, the canned one. Can okay, one brand is there? Mm. Um, there's some pain here, there's some pain here, you can see the reaction. The chicken, the chicken. What drink is that? Some pain, a dog dog pain. Orange color label, Dr. Kamala. Sometimes she takes pedigree also. La. So it's a new one? No, it's, she, she's taken it regularly. Okay, there's uh, a, I think a uh, Vita Pet. There's some pain here. Uh -huh. There you can see the dog uh -huh. reacted to, to my operation. So did she eat anything else like bones? Or no, she don't take bones. We don't give her bones. Something in the house? No, she don't take bones. We are very particular about food she eats. Are there people? Mm. No. Chicken? Chicken mm. No. We don't let her go out. I think she's abused, she's mostly spent time with us today. Mm. Okay, so there's some at the moment. Okay, you don't need to Okay, okay. okay. There's only finding. So, so we'll give the IV drip and antibiotic okay. first. So if, if it doesn't get killed, then we mm. need to uh, x-ray. Okay. Oh, and then also the uh, stool is for an analysis. Has she, has she been deboned? Yeah, she all be done with everything. I've said everything really. Huh? All done with. Because Prius already, uh, Prius already did everything already. Really. Vaccination? Yeah, done really. Oh. When was it done? Um, last year? Yeah, last year. I think the owner. Because she never gave me the doctor. We just spoke over from another person. <coughs> when you came? Uh, just last year only. One year already? Yeah, one year already. But actually, we can, we can accident again also, right? Hmm? We can do for again again for a yearly one, right? Yeah, but the, the, when was it done? Let's check it. Yeah, check first. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. Six years old. Uh. How about the urine? She don't normal urine is normal. normal. Yeah. Normal. She's scared. She's scared. Pulse, uh, pulse rate is quite fast. Uh, yeah. She's a bit the TV type. Yeah, sure, sorry, one twenty. Uh. Today is on the 12th. 12th December 2016. Okay, so now this uh, crossbred with acute gastroenteritis and slight pain in the mid abdomen is being given a drip. So, so the the basic treatment is IV drip, normal saline or or Hartman's, and then uh, I give spasmod G6. That is to anti fever, anti diarrhea, and also I give. Betrayal IV. I find that most effective. So now my assistant will uh, start with the betrayal first. Slowly through this, through this uh, cap. There's one cap here in this catheter. Some catheters don't have it, yeah. But, but uh, of course, slow one. Not only slow, very slow. Very slowly. Now this is a nervous dog. So we we put the e collar that is to prevent her from biting off this uh, IV set, the, the infusion set, just in case. Now, if we give slowly, there is no no uh, reaction like rapid breathing or panting or vomiting. So everything got to give slowly when it's given by IV. Now you can see the dog is still okay. And the flow will be, this is a normal saline. 
you can't see the label because it's on the other side. Now, so this is slowly, and then we let let the let the drip flow first. Now you see the dog is quite stable. I will just turn this over to show. Show this is the time ten sixteen, December twelfth two zero one six. Now, this uh, dog had three episodes of yellowish watery stool this morning, four thirty a.m. to. 8 a.m. Okay, so the cause the owner doesn't know and uh, suspect food poisoning, acute gastroenteritis. So we let the drip flow for a while first so that we don't mix up the two injections. And uh, the flow rate is, is just nice. And uh, overall, you can see this dog is quite thin. Okay, quite thin. I was a bit uh, up, a bit uh, nervous. Okay, ready? So we will, we will continue the second one. Also very slow. This pathogenic is very slow. And uh, from what I noticed, in some cases, the dog vomits. So, so we just wait first. Come sit down first. Talk to the dog, yeah. Talk to the dog. It was assistance. Uh, seldom talk to, okay. talk to animals. In fact, you should talk to animals, yeah. Then they feel not so uh, nervous because you thought that they are being uh, given something abnormal yeah, or unusual. So if you talk to them, they will be very uh, assured. I think dogs are like humans, uh, human patients. I mean, you, you cannot just do everything quietly. Come keep on talking and in suspense. Okay, green, green. Don't be scared. Oh, I see the tongue moving. You see, uh? wait, wait. You see, time to so stop. Stop, stop the sulfur G6 first. Stop a while first. On and off, on and off. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, there will be uh, sometimes vomiting. Now, the spasmo G6 is a very effective drug against diarrhea, and it has a anti fever component. Now, we use a lot in horses for spasmodic colic or infection, colic infection and fever, uh, not in fever but uh, for colic in, in, in race horses and I find it to be very effective especially those race horses with fever and uh, pain mm. it is a painkiller as well okay, slow down first, stop a while first and uh, it's seldom used in dogs uh. dogs there are other drugs as well but uh, but it's, a, it's approved for dogs as well and uh, the the tips is that give it very slowly, yeah, and then a bit and a bit, yeah. So she she will just stop the flow first, and a bit. Now the other way is just to give by, let's say a ten cc syringe. You just uh, don't use the drip. Just give direct through a ten cc syringe with the dexosiline or Hartman or normal saline that would uh, be uh, given if the owner wants to bring the dog home now this IV drip plus G6 is plus B2 is the first line of treatment and uh, and now she caps it and uh, we're going to bring the dog to the kennel and uh, if, if all are okay that means the dog should not be eating for the next 24 hours or 48 hours and uh, after that we will fit small amounts yeah. small amounts and uh, it's at home it's a home it goes home and uh, that's all that's, no. that's all so there's nothing uh, to upset the dog yeah. Okay, why why don't you put it aside? Yeah? I thought normally we'll put the use the other cage. Yeah? Okay, now my so you just have the drip to prevent dehydration and antibiotics for the any infection now. There's no blood test or no blood test or X-ray done due to economic reasons. So this is about the cheapest way to treat diarrhea, of course you can give injections and then let the dog go home. 
but it's best to have an IV drip to uh, prevent dehydration and also to let the dog rest. Now it's uh, about uh, 10 a.m. So diarrhea was 4.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. And we will see how the dog goes. There's only some pain in the mid-abdomen, but uh, other than that, the mucous membrane is okay. And the diarrhea is sudden onset, yellowish, and not, not say profuse, but in small amounts. So as to what causes it, it's hard to say. This dog was adopted in September last year, which is now about uh, 15 months after adoption, and there was no problem. So we will wait uh, till the drip flows, one bottle, and then uh, the dog goes home. No food for at least 24 hours, and then slowly introduce food. And uh, then we will see, maybe it needs deworming as well. Vaccination is not, not up to date. Yeah. So we, we could check for power virus or other, other, other coronavirus, but uh, try to keep battery costs to a minimum. So we will wait and see.